So we now come to the most important graph that I've put together uh, in the past year, and it is the dosing schedule for ivermectin. I would suggest for most cancers, you want to be looking at one milligram per kilogram per day. That would be my starting dose for most cancers. And cancers that have been shown to work with ivermectin, there's many different kinds of cancers. You've got breast cancer, colon cancer, lung cancer, you've got pancreatic, renal cell carcinomas, uh, gastric cancers. You know, there's many different cancers that you can try ivermectin with, leukemias, of course. The one cancer I have not seen uh, almost any research on with ivermectin is lymphomas. I just have not seen any uh, papers talking about lymphoma and ivermectin. That doesn't mean it doesn't work. It just means that, you know, there aren't any studies looking at lymphomas. This is the dose that I would start with. Uh, Dr. Shankara Chetty had that prostate cancer patient whose PSA dropped from 89 to 11. He used 45 milligrams of ivermectin per day. So when you think about the dosing, one milligram per kilogram, you typical person is 60 kilograms. That means you're, you, you're going to be using 60 milligrams of ivermectin per day. That's five pills of 12 milligrams each or six ml of the liquid ivermectin. And six ml is basically one teaspoon. That is the way to think about it per day. One teaspoon per day, once a day. And you're, you're, there's been no report of long-term side effects with one milligram per kilogram. And there was that study by Castro looking at children who are taking one milligram per kilogram with, they had leukemia over the long term with no side effects. You can start lower. Dr. Tesslory reported a case with a much lower dose. Uh, this dose was actually 0.2 milligrams per kilogram. And there was still an improvement in ovarian cancer with the blood markers, the CA-125 levels dropping from 288 to 22 after two months. So there is anti-cancer effect. It is dose dependent. There's evidence that the anti-cancer effect of ivermectin is dose dependent. So higher dose, you may get better efficacy. Now, if you have extremely aggressive cancers like leukemia, Pancreatic cancers are extremely aggressive and brain cancers. Now, there is some question about, you know, does the ivermectin cross the blood-brain barrier? It does uh, because you do get neurological side effects, but it doesn't cross it very well. So you may, for brain cancers, you actually may need a higher dose like two milligrams a kilogram. And again, you know, this is the case of Dr. Landrido's um, colleague, doctor colleague who had that terminal gallbladder cancer. She took two milligrams a kilogram a day for 14 months and her cancer disappeared. She had some visual side effects, but then those went away after a few days. Now, the highest dose that I've seen is 2.5 milligrams per kilogram. Mainstream oncologists will not even offer you ivermectin. So this is as far as some people have pushed the dosing, 2.5 milligrams per kilogram. Again, Dr. Shankara Chetty had a patient on up to 2.5 milligrams per kilogram per day uh, without any long-term side effects. So at 2 milligrams per kilogram or 2.5 milligrams per kilogram, you might get some visual effects, but they don't seem to last long-term. They only seem to last a few days. I would suggest for most people to start at one milligram per kilogram, and then depending on your personal situation, uh, adjust from there. You can always adjust upwards. So that pretty much covers it. Um, using ivermectin in cancer is honestly very straightforward. One milligram per kilogram per day is your typical starting dose. Um, if you're using the pills for a 60 kilogram person, that's 60 milligrams a day. That's five 12 milligram pills a day. If you're using the liquid version for whatever reason, that's six ml per day. That's a teaspoon is five ml, right? So that's basically a teaspoon a day of, of the liquid ivermectin. And that's it. Um, it is a very, very safe drug. Uh, it is off patent. 
You can get generic versions of ivermectin. No one's going to make any money off it. And there are no clinical trials right now looking at ivermectin in cancer because there's no money in it. So I, I really strongly suggest if you are struggling with cancer, look into ivermectin at a starting dose of one milligram per kilogram per day. You take it as long as you know there is evidence of, of active tumor. You can take it for months. You know, in, in the Castro study, um, those children with leukemia were taking it for six months. Uh, there are anecdotal reports of people taking it over a year on a daily basis without any long-term toxicity or side effects.